Chase Wingler here, reporting with Dayton Merrill and Tan Peters. Guys, what's your game plan going into Briar Cliff? Well, we, uh, you know, when it comes to Briar Cliff, we don't really know a whole lot about them yet, but we do know that they've got a lot of, a lot of three point shooters. Yeah. They, uh, they shoot about 40% from three, I think, is what coach has been telling us. And, um, so, as far as like game plan against them particularly, we're just going to have to really focus on closing out on shooters. Mm -hmm. But as far as what we do, we're just going to do what we've always been doing this whole year is uh, really focus on getting the paint, getting into big man Dookie and, and Greg inside, and you know, let Bruce create for us and, and see what happens. But. Yeah, Coach uh, gave me uh, some good advice the other day at practice that we had. But uh, simply said, and Coach says a lot, but he says, men, I and fly. And I think <laughs> when you get down here to the tournament, you just kind of have to, to put all the precautions aside and take a chance. And so I think that's, uh, that's what we gotta do to get that right quick. Gotta believe it and heave it. Also believe it and heave it. So that's the game plan going against Briar Cliff on Thursday. Now you both are uh, committed followers of Jesus Christ. How does that transition to the basketball court? Yeah. Um, well, first of all, I think it, it begins with the recognition that um, this game is a gift and that we don't deserve to, to be able to have these abilities to play. And so I think that in itself should, should humble us um, and then recognizing that because of Christ and what he's done for us, we are able to, to glorify him with our play and our abilities. And so I think it, it just begins with, with why, why we can play in a way that would glorify him. And that's because of Jesus. And so bringing back to the cross and being humbled by that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I think you said it really well. I think also another thing is just um, playing the game in a way that shows people that basketball is not our most important thing in our life. It's not, that's not our treasure. Winning and losing is not our treasure. But really, ultimately, Jesus is. And so we're playing in a way that shows everybody that, hey, there's something that's more important to us than, than winning and losing. And, um, our purpose is to glorify him, as Tam was saying. So uh, how that looks day to day, it's, it's a difficult thing. It's, we would say it's probably the most sanctifying thing in our life at this point is basketball. It's because it's very difficult at times, but um, God's been using it to work in our lives and our teammates' lives. Didn't forewarn you guys about this question, but if the coaching staff had a one-on-one -on -one tournament, who wins? Coaching staff. Oh, man. Ooh. <laughs> so that would be Taylor Long. Taylor Nate Long, Short. Nate Short. Coach Yeh, Coach Kessler. C, and of course the legend Jim Kessler. In their prime or right now? Well, let's go right now. Another little um, regulation here is that we're we talking 15 feet, starting out 15 feet from the basket, or we're going to do the normal what? check it up, top, top of the key. key. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to take uh, I'm going to take my my buddy. Taylor Long, this one. He's he's young. He's spry. He's got you know he's got some some great uh, great moves. It's small, but he can take it to him. I'd say. Hmm. This is a, <laughs> a bold prediction. Um, maybe not so bold. But I have to go with Coach Z. Coach Z. Coach he's Z. Right. <laughs> Coach Z is a, the type of guy where. I don't think there's a single person that's going to, to stop him. Um, even if all he has to do is literally just back the person down from the three-point line yeah. and then give him a little up and under, I think that is, that's going to prove to be very effective. Um, really uses his legs well. And so I think that will be to his advantage. He, he owns the paint. He, he always does. Always has, always will. So have any former Lancers text you guys or have you talked with maybe Kyle Plumley or David Henry, any of those guys lately? I uh, talked to Kyle Plumley recently. He's actually going to be at our game oh, on sweet. Thursday because he lives out in St. Louis now. And so uh, yeah, I've just heard a little bit from him. I think uh, Swanee texted us after we won the conference championship. Nice. So. Yeah, Swanee's always there to just provide some, some good encouragement. <laughs> Swanee kept it pretty light when he was here and kept the mood pretty uh, – pretty comical, so it's always good to hear from him, and um, they're definitely behind
mine is 100 percent. So that's good to know. Nice. Well, Tanner Peters, Dave Merrill, Chase Ringling.